the loop on some 2018 stuff. Uh, New York, your home state, uh, you were born in Brooklyn. Yes. Uh, the, the chairman of the DNC, Tom Perez, endorsed Andrew Cuomo, who's locked in a pretty competitive primary with Cynthia Nixon. Our revolution has endorsed Cynthia Nixon. Do you think that was a mistake for the chair of the DNC? Absolutely. And uh, does, it, does it make it harder to trust that you know, progressive candidates in 2020 will get a fair shake when they're yep. wading into primaries like this? It does. Look, let us also be clear, maybe I'm the only person here who will tell you this, but uh, you know, you got Democrats up here who will tell you, oh, Democratic Party is God's gift to the human race. Republicans will tell you the same thing. Look, there is massive discontent with the political system. People don't vote. People often hold their noses uh, and they vote. And I think, you know, by and large, uh, especially in the Democratic Party, what I have said, as you indicated, I am an independent who has caucus with the Democrats, uh, you know, for my whole political life here in Washington, is open the doors of the Democratic Party, welcome working people, welcome young people in, welcome idealism in. So when you have the head of the DNC, and I've worked okay with Perez on, on some areas, and I'll mention that in a moment, but to endorse uh, one candidate over the other is not uh, what the chair of the DNC should be doing. Now, one of the areas that we have worked on, we will see what happens, man, and this will be a very big deal. Right now, as you know, when, when I ran, um, you had uh, many, many super delegates, uh, almost all of whom ended up supporting Hillary Clinton. And I think there is a widespread understanding that's just not right. And in fact, you had superdelegates voting for Clinton in states that I won pretty handsomely. Right. And I think there is a general feeling that that does not make a lot of sense. And now there is agreement among Tom Perez and a lot of the Clinton people, as well as our people, who came together and what Clinton and I formed what we called a Democratic uh, Reform, a Unity Reform Committee. Uh, to say that we should substantially reduce the number of superdelegates, actually by about 70%. Some people think we should eliminate them all, and I could certainly support that. Will that happen? Well, we will see. Pay, pay attention to that. Right. 